This solar air heater is my first design. I expect I'll have a few more before I'm done. The unit is entirely self-contained, using no commercial power whatsoever. It's powered by a 7-watt amorphous solar panel purchased from Princess Auto for 20 bucks. It maintains good performance even in cloudy, hazy, and indirect light. Air does not start to circulate until 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit is reached inside the heat chamber. This is also completely automatic. I'm using a bimetal thermostat snap switch which remains open until the surface reaches 40 Celsius and then the switch closes, completing the circuit, and remains closed until the unit cools to about 30 Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit. This ensures only hot air is brought into the hangar, turning on and off as the sun is obscured by clouds and shutting down for the evenings. The snap switch was just under five bucks for five of them on Amazon. I also wired in a Hobbs meter that tracks the number of hours the unit is providing heat to the building. It's a six to 80 volt AC DC quartz hour meter gauge wired in parallel as it too is triggered by the bimetal thermostat snap switch and it was under 10 bucks on Amazon. Drawing cold air from the hangar floor, a 5 volt DC 120 millimeter by 120 millimeter brushless 7 vane case fan purchased from Amazon for 10 bucks is used. Both the intake and the exhaust pipes have a 5 inch diameter. 10 rows of 13 or 130 pop cans were used. The pop cans, one inch insulation, manifolds, aluminum backing, and anything else inside the heat chamber is painted with a flat black paint to ensure all sunlight is absorbed and not reflected. There is a five inch intake and exhaust manifold at the bottom and top of the unit. This ensures that all air travels through the interior of the aluminum cans. The entire unit is 28 inches wide and 6 feet 2 inches tall. My intentions are to install two or three of these units on the south wall of our hangar with the ultimate goal of keeping the interior of the hangar slightly above zero during the winter when the sun is shining. I have designed it to be mounted on the south side of our hangar three feet off the ground to stay above any snow accumulation. Using calculations provided online, at 12 noon on a sunny winter day at 45 degrees north, my design should produce 4,600 to 5,000 BTU, somewhere between 1,350 and 1,460 watts. By adding two units, I have close to 10,000 BTUs of heat for free. I'll provide a follow-up video recording the build process, challenges experienced, and early performance. Thanks for watching.